<laughs> That's how you do it. When you change the oil on the Dodge Ram, you gotta go in, bro. You gotta hit the floor. But you gotta make sure you lift it all right. As you can see, I'm about to do an oil change on a, I think this is like a 2015 or 16 Dodge Ram. So I'm about to show you guys how we do it, man. As you can see, the filters up here. The good thing about doing oil change on these big pickups is they got this big engine bay up here. So it's very easy to get to the oil change. It's not hard. Just as any other car, it's very simple. Unless they got like a big carriage that makes it hard for you to reach, but you can always unscrew everything. So we're gonna get to the oil change, guys. Hi guys, check this out. Well, we're gonna use take this filter off. That's, a good thing. That's what they call a spin off, but you just spin it, right? So I'm gonna get a filter wrench with an extension on it. Pretty old school, man. I had it for about a year now. It's very easy. Y'all gonna see what OG do on a day to day basis, man. Normally, I don't gotta do these big ass trucks. It's not easy to come out. And they got this filter. It slides right down, the oil slide right down, so I can put the pan right there. So I'm gonna go do that while y'all watch the oil drain down. This is an exclusive, too. Take this big old filter out. See, it's starting to drain now. So I get like a rag, something like this is drippy. I don't want to get wet with the oil, with the oil off. Take it with the rag. Grab it from here. Put it on the oil pan. Clean up this area. Also, that filter ring right there. Clean that up there, up there real good. I said, try to clean up for people, man. Make, make it look nice. All right, we got a filter from CarQuest. So, this what we're gonna do. We're gonna take the new filter we got from CarQuest. We're gonna put this new filter on. It's kind of hard. Take one hand and balance because you know the car is kind of high. It's a lifted, a lifted Dodge Ram. So, like I was trying to give y'all an exclusive one, how I change all oh, on the 2018 Dodge Ram. I might be wrong about the year, but you still get my drift. Make sure it's tight, not too tight. Right, this area right here, you don't want nobody to think they got an oil leak. So you clean it up so it don't drip anymore. Clean all this up around the frame. Gotta make it look nice and presentable so they know what they paid 30 bucks for, you feel me? All right. Now we done with that, we gotta drain the oil. All right guys, as you can see, here's the drain plug. So, I believe this is like a, I think this is like a size 14 or 15. So I'm gonna go over here to my toolbox. Ready to have it on deck, just in case something like this happens. See, I got a 14, right? 14 socket. That's too big. It's too big. Right, I got a 13. Let's see what the 13 socket do, guys. Put on there. It's a perfect fit. I know I'm moving around with the camera a lot. I'm trying to get used to it, like I said, I'm doing the work. Alright. Alright, so we got 13 socket. Use this. Watch this, guys. Alright, man. For future reference, man. Anybody, any one of you guys can do oil changes, man. Make sure you do not. Over tightening the drain plug, bro. You're giving other people a hard time. Let me show you. So, y'all can stop giving me a hard time when I go to work. I don't do this to you every day. I 
I got so many tools, man. All right, man. This is what you're supposed to use, bro, to tighten. It's a torque wrench. Buy your torque wrench if you're an oil, an oil technician. I don't care what you are, man. Anything that has to do with mechanics, make sure you get a torque wrench, my guy. All right, guys. I'm going to tighten the drain plug. I know y'all can't see me because the truck's so high, but I'm going to tighten the drain plug. We're going to lower the vehicle. Fill it up with about six to seven quarts of oil. But we're going to check and see how many liters the engine is. So stay tuned, man. Stay tuned. All right, guys. As you can see, I just opened the hood. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off the cap off the hood. It says 5W20. So that's what we're going to put in there. Not more, nothing less. Take this cap off. So you put some oil in there. Make sure you put the little tiny cap, man, somewhere secure, man, somewhere safe so you don't lose. All right, ladies and gentlemen, anytime you have a hard time trying to figure out exactly how much oil to put in your vehicle, look at this white paper. It's going to be somewhere underneath the hood somewhere. You feel me? So right here, it says we have a 4.7 liter. So we're going to estimate how much is that going to be. All right, as you can see, we have a 4.7 liter V8. So... So I got to put approximately six quarts of oil in here. We're just going to check the dipstick and see exactly how much oil we got on this bad boy. You feel me? Let's go check. We're going to check this out together. What you see? We need to wipe that dipstick. Hold on one second. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Put my hat down and I'm going to check this dipstick with you guys. Shit, it's telling me not to add no more oil. Look like I filled it up exactly where it need to be. Let's get this bad boy out of here so they can go home. And that's oil change with OG.